The year was 1952. Jean Hayashi was a sophomore at the University of Hawaii and was invited to a party. The same party 26-year-old George Ariyoshi was at. George happened to ask me for a dance, and, and I love to dance, and I love to jitterbug, and there it was, we were jitterbugging. And I was so shocked that he was such a good jitterbugger. She felt instant chemistry. He was very tall, very handsome, I thought. And he had these eyebrows that go up and down <laughs> and he spoke. That was kind of sexy, George. <laughs> what was it about Mrs. Ariyoshi that just caught your eye and sparked your interest? She was nice looking. <laughs> there was only one problem. I happened to be there with somebody else. So. Yeah. <laughs> But you see, when we were dancing and dancing and dancing, uh, I had realized that he was there with a date. So, so I said, oh, I think I, it's time for me to go home. He called her soon after, and the two have been together ever since. They married in 1955 when she was a college senior, and he was running in his first of numerous political races. House, Senate, Lieutenant Governor, and finally Governor. When you're in the public eye, it's really hard on the family, especially for the kids. And so it was important for me as mother and wife to hold the family together and um, help the kids along and make it a home uh, for George to come back to. The former governor is now 95 years old, and the former first lady of Hawaii is about to turn 88. Love is a main thing in a marriage, to continue love. And he has shown in, in many ways, I think, and especially when at night, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, I wake up in pain. And so he massages me, you know, and no matter what, half an hour, one hour sometimes. And Jane does a good job of keeping me healthy. Uh, and she wants to be sure that I'm fed, I have breakfast, she makes my breakfast, she makes my lunch. Taking care of each other and being accommodating are keys to this successful marriage. So I think it's understanding the other person and not expecting the unexpected or unreasonable from the other person and knowing that by working together, doing things together, we can achieve more. And that chemistry. But when you look at him, what do you love about him the most? Well, his eyebrows are still there, <laughs> but they're white and not black. <laughs> For Kupuna Life, I'm Christine Ueno, KJUN2 News.